We took a lot of time on this one and it wasn't necessarily by choice. Um, you know, the pandemic definitely affected many different versions of plans that we had. But in a very serendipitous way, we ended up being able to really take the time to develop it and talk about it and experiment with it in a way that I think we are now prepared to present a truly singular, large piece of music um, in a way that even we weren't able to achieve with Near Reaper. Once we actually had it all down and it all fit together, it was like he hearing that and being like, oh, it worked. Like the way that we thought the way we were trying to make it work, what we were aiming for, worked. And that's a good fucking feeling. Like that's, I mean, that's the best feeling. But just listening to it now already, it's like, oh, this is good. I'm very, I'm happy with this. I'm proud of this. But I think the, this triptych idea was a way of sort of allowing ourselves the ability to like fully develop the idea of what what are these passages you know if we if we're not limited to one double lp um we can truly start figuring out like what's the like what's the biggest development we can make um and i think it uh it has allowed and will you know as we continue re uh, recording these records as this one single piece, it's gonna allow us to like really explore, to just really develop that idea and process that we had started on Mirror Reaper and seemingly want to continue and try to um, make come to fruition. I also just think there's been an, an incredible amount of uh, musical growth that has happened between the last record that we recorded together and now. Like I think we, we added all these different voices. Um, the songwriting has developed in a way that um, maybe wouldn't have had the chance to if we were caught in a tour cycle. And I think all in all, it's definitely the most challenging and coolest record that I've ever been a part of. Um, so I think that at the end of the day, that's always the goal.